this. We have all of our documents and we have a copy of the bill. So I believe we are ready to go. Mr. Mark, lead the way. Right. We're here at the Maui County building to submit a petition on behalf of the people of Maui County to protect the resources of the island and protect the health and safety of the people from the dangers involved in massive use of pesticides and genetically modified organisms. We will begin a petition drive to put this directly on the ballot so that the voters next November will have a chance to vote in favor of protecting the island by invoking a temporary moratorium to cease the use of GMOs and the pesticides associated with them until the company producing those pesticides and releasing those GMOs in an open air environment can prove that they are safe and not harmful to the people, the environment of this county. Ua mau ke e o kaina i ka pono, yeah? So it's not based on only economics. It's based on what are the effects and affects onto the environment, the air, the water, the land, the reef, the children, the kupunas, the people. People say, oh, the life of the land is perpetuated through righteousness. That's bull. You know what that really means? It means life is perpetuated through a balanced pono, a balanced relationship with the land. What we poison in our land, we poison ourselves. It's that simple. They use a restricted use pesticides that by themselves might not be so dangerous, but when you start adding them all together, it becomes a cocktail, and they have not done testing of those cocktails. I'm very concerned with the combinations because each new combination could have stunning effects. The minute you combine them, the combination, all hell can break loose. It could be anything. Miscarriages, birth defects, an increase, neurotoxic diseases, ADD, ADHD, asthma, allergies. There's a whole raft of symptoms and diseases that people are experiencing that are known to be directly related to the chemicals that are being used. You'll hear the statement all the time that there's a consensus that they're safe. That consensus is between those that have a vested interest in the dollars and the power and the control that come with genetically engineered crops, not from the independent scientists at all. If you really step back, we really may look like we're just a big experiment, you know, a big research lab to experiment with affecting people. You know, and so yeah, we're we're questionable. Are we being sacrificed? We have intense scientific censorship. Cream of the crop that was picked by EPA, called together to establish whether genetically engineered crops were safe or not. After three years, they gave up in frustration. Wrote a letter, said we're denied access to the materials. We're denied the opportunity to publish, and you have zero objective information to base any, inf any decision on because the research is prohibited by the companies. And that's probably one of the reasons why when the FDA and the EPA just raised the tolerance levels, they said, we make no independent study of the claims. We rely totally on the good faith of the company that these levels are safe. I ask all the different ohanas throughout Maui County, every one of you families have your leaders in your family that you all turn to as to what to do. This is an issue that I ask the leaders of all the families to rise, stand strong, stand firm, and make that decision to encourage your family to support this move.